bike was stolen off the boat last night. We just took a beating. So from here on, the Mekong River acts as the border between Laos and Thailand. So we've heard that the officials can be a bit sensitive about boats traveling this river. I think we'll be fine. Fairly common sight on the Mekong. It's a old uh, marker from the French. Put it in for navigation purposes. They haven't really helped us much with navigation except for maybe avoiding the occasional rock. Last night we had a nice uh, sleep on a little island. Pretty nice. Went for a swim in the Mekong a couple times. Occasional sound of gunshot on the island. There was like, one guy on the island it seemed who was hunting and exploring the island. He came by close to us but he didn't really come and say hello. He did say sub ID when I first saw him. Then he sort of disappeared and then we heard some gunshots fairly close to us in the middle of the night. Not sure what he was hunting in the dark. Felix thought he was drunk and just shooting guns off. Raining at one point in the night and I was just underneath this underneath my mosquito net and nothing else so I actually went and got Felix's parasol but by the time I had it all set up the rain had stopped it really didn't last long a couple minutes of sprinkle and then that was it. Slept pretty good. A few bugs. The site of the mass suicide. The morning ants were all over my bag. A few rapids today but nothing too crazy. Been pretty chill. A few exciting moments. I had to yell at Felix once. Paddle! Paddle, don't look! Paddle! <laughs> and he's eating sticky rice now. Gotta make the ball. Gotta make the ball. Lovely place for a picnic. Felix and I showed up last night in this town just at sunset and we couldn't find a place to stay. So we came to the temple and the monks offered us a place to stay. Um, we found some little shacks that looked pretty nice. We set our bags up there, but they then told us that we should stay right here in the temple. <laughs> Quite nice. They have just gone off for their morning alms now. I'm sure they'll be back here to do some meditating and some praying before they eat. Felix and I will head out onto the river. Just coming down the river here and we saw this nice dragon staircase. So we, uh, Decided we, we might as well pull over. It was calling us for sure. There's a bunch of Buddhas and caves over here too. Pretty beautiful spot. And across the river in Thailand, looks like the monks are living large in Thailand. This place is crazy looking. Beauty. Not a place, not a bad place to dock up. Hey Felix. So there's a little monkey here at the temple and Felix is keeping his distance. I, uh, I was also keeping my distance at first. I walked over to him to check him out and asked the monk who was playing with him if, he's, if he bites. And he's like, no, no, friendly. Sure enough, he climbed up on me. Went right for my beard, actually. He was holding on to my beard, pulling on it. Very curious what was up with my beard. And then, and then he went for my phone and bit my headphones. He shat on my arm, and then he started biting my arm. Thankfully, no blood or anything, so I should be okay. It's pretty funny because Felix was just telling me yesterday how he keeps his distance from all animals. And I was like, really? Like, animals are so awesome. So, anyways, pretty classic. 
It's a beautiful spot. Industry at work on the Mekong. We're just arriving in Dien Chien. Dien Chien is off in the distance there. Felix is happy. There she is. The skyline of Dien Chien dominating our view. As we arrive in Dien Chien, the capital of Lao. Uh, I thought we might get harassed by officials as we came through Dien Chien. Cause, but so far it seemed pretty dead on the river. Not many official looking people. And there's the Don Chan Palace. Where would you rather live? On the boat or in the soon to be finished apartment buildings? Or maybe never to be finished apartment buildings? So we just arrived in the capital of Lao, Vientian, and parked our boat next to this big houseboat called La Dame du Mekong. And of course, I always have to wake for Marcus so I can use the time to make a short video. So Felix and I are back on the river. Another late day today. It's uh, two days out of Yen Chang now. And we just pulled up and stopped at another temple. <laughs> and these kids are practicing the little English that they have on me. <laughs> and there's nowhere to stay in town, so we're gonna stay in the temple over there. Should be quite nice. Nice little peaceful temple. <laughs> So this is where we slept yesterday, close to the river. Actually, here's like another river floating into the Mekong. It's over there. And this is building belongs to the temple. And it's there on the other side of the street. Marcus just unloading the boat. Having an early stop today because it's pretty windy. I'm not really moving on the Mekong. I'm gonna sleep here somewhere just outside. So this morning we paddled by this spot. There was four guys standing up on the hill looking down. They went and grabbed us. It's the customs department. They took our passports and long story short, they said we can't continue on the river. So the river trip is over. Just sold our boat for about a tenth the price that we bought it. Hey, hey, man, honey. 